Can you hear me now? Yeah, let the other stuff get out of it. Whoo! Hoo, 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 hoo! Friday night. There you go. Everything's all right. Things all right. <sighs> all my stuff is up the way it should be. Okay. Greetings, programs. How's Friday night treating you? Well, this is Friday night for me. It might be Sunday, Saturday morning for you. Don't really know. Uh, yeah, it could always be my friend Murray. He'll be well into Saturday. He's in the future, too, over in uh, Australia. Oh, man, oh, man. So I wanted to start off today by not doing anything at all about building things. Okay, you're supposed to be building things. I know I'm supposed to be building things. What I really want to do is talk to you about a keyboard. And I'll tell you, let me blow it off here because I've already dirtied it up a bit. Um, I don't get paid by these people. I uh, just had to be walking around the micro center. Oh, hold on, this thing's in my way. Oh, let me start over because it's going to YouTube a little bit, I think. I wanted to start today by telling you about a keyboard I really like that I picked up on sort of a whim. Yeah, here, here's the box it comes in. Woo, it's called a Red Dragon. Uh, picked up for $45 at uh, Micro Center. I'm sure you can buy them online somewhere. This model is a K552. Well, I think you think it'd say on here someplace. It certainly doesn't say on the price tag there. Oh, there it is. K552 2. That's what it is. Does it use Asimov robotic rows? Um, it's not smart enough to know about those laws at the moment. Um, it, it, it will it do all those things? You know, those are pretty esoteric laws. You know, uh, don't harm any humans. Uh, don't allow any humans to come to harm. What's the third one? I forget. There's three of them. And um, so is it? No, it's not going to be dumb. It's not going to be dumb. It's going to be eventually be uh, more than that. And uh, so what do you mean by a dumb bot? I mean, because think about it. Think about it. Let me uh, switch over to the overhead. I'll show you. So this is its current state of affairs. And um, if you want to make it a dumb bot, From Wikipedia. Yep. That seems right. It's been a while since I've read those things. But uh, that seems, yeah. So it can protect its own existence. So let's see, let's, let's, let's start with that, right? It doesn't want to run off a cliff. It doesn't want to run off, run into a wall. It doesn't want to do those things. So it needs to protect its own existence. Um, this robot 
will eventually do that. It doesn't do that now. I got to build some smarts into it. Um, and how I intend on doing that, the first thing I need to do is get it moving around. And so until it moves, it's protecting its own existence by just not going anywhere, right? The uh, eventually what's going to I'm going to have happen. This is a, a latte panda, and I'm going to put some machine learning on that, and um, I'm going to put some machine learning on this and put a camera on it so it can navigate stuff around. I will probably put some bump systems at, in the front of this, maybe in the back too. Don't really know at the point at this moment. Um, but uh, to to keep it as it runs into things um, itself, it's not going to. Uh, it's, I don't believe it's going to have enough weight to actually hurt somebody. A microcomputer. Um, here, let me show you. I was just I was printing out these 3D cases, um, and I've had to modify the top a couple times to get everything to work right. This is called a latte panda. Can you see that? Maybe. A latte panda. So this is a, a complete. Uh, uh, well, you can put Linux on it too, but I'll be running Windows 10 on it, and it's Arduino all in one, so that I've got the microcontroller side of the thing, and I've got the microprocessor side of the thing. It's got four gigs of memory in there, 64 gigs of uh, of uh, hard drive space, and actually. Yeah, I've got SD card, but I also have hard drive space in there as well. Uh, and uh, the idea is I'm going to get it to move around since it's outside, outside uh, various means. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Microsoft MVP, so I play a lot around uh, using the Microsoft stack doing things. And one of the things I've played with a lot in the past was cognitive services, being able to watch, um, take a video of something, or, and be able to detect people's face, detect their emotions, that sort of thing. Um, and I also recognize people when I see them again. Um, so there's going to be some of that in there. Um, what I really want this thing to do now is chase my pets away from zones I don't want them to be. So that's my first goal is to get this thing where I can move it around. I've got some uh, wireless controllers around here. And yes, that will be a dumb bot at that point where... I want to run it around with the with the controller just to make sure everything works what it's supposed to be working, and then I'm going to teach it how to do some some uh, path. Well, pathfinding is a little a little crazy to start off with, but I want to start by just exploring the world and getting a picture of its outside world, and then once I get that, then maybe I can uh, so it knows you know I can set it loose in the house and let it explore, so to speak. And have enough bump sensors and rangefinder type things on it to keep it from uh, uh, running into things too much. Hopefully, not at all. Yep, I'm going to give it a camera. In fact, uh, let's see. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to give it a camera. Um, this is going to be the uh, this is this is where I plan on sitting it. I don't know. Uh, maybe I can get this here so you can see it in the in the close up. Plan on sitting it right here. And this is a servo. And I'm going to 3D print a mount for it. Not sure what camera yet. Hadn't got there yet. But this uh, microcontroller here, a microprocessor, uh, has a USB. Uh, output on it so I can put any, almost any USB camera on it because it'll take anything that Windows will take and then I can grab stuff off of it and use the computer as a smart and use the microcontroller the Arduino section of this to do the real time thing to pay attention to sensors and do things like oh I can't go that way because I hit a, hit a roadblock or I can't go that way because I'm hitting something else or I can't go that way because maybe um, my rangefinder says I don't have room to go that way let it worry about those things. Pretty much like uh, you being a human. I'm guessing you're human. I have no idea. On the, on the I just see you in the chat. But uh, I think most people, most chatters are humans, I guess. I think so. Yeah. I'll assume that until I know otherwise. <laughs> right? Kind of. 
I'll assume that until I know otherwise. And uh, much like uh, most uh, humans that are alive, um, the fact that you're breathing, your heart beats, uh, you're keeping your balance and all those sorts of things, those are part of your brain stem, actually. And I believe, if I remember my biology correctly, and that keeps all those things just going autonomously. You don't have to think to do those things. Same thing with a robot. I'm hopefully going to get enough smarts into the Arduino side of this one way or another so that it can keep itself from killing itself. And there it is, the existence. Keep its existence and keep it from killing anything else. I say killing. It's not going to be a really big robot. It's not going to go exceptionally fast, but it could trip somebody up, that sort of thing. And um, uh, to, to make sure, it's stupid, keep it from doing something crazy stupid. And then use the uh, microprocessor and some coding up in there. Up in there, listen to me. Yes, yeah, not for me, sex. So, some coding in there to keep it to do smarter things. Um, decides to, I want to go left or right or forward or backward or I see an empty space over there. Let's go look at that empty space. And, um, hey, uh, microcontroller, take me forward for a little ways so I can look around some more. Kind of, kind of uh, multi-processing as it goes. Um, I plan on using something called ROS2, R-O-S, which uh, R-O-S is a robot operating system. And um, even though it's not really a system, it's, a, it's not really an operating system itself. It's a, it's a system for operating robots. It's kind of cool. Um, lots, of, lots of stuff there. Kind of, uh, it's pr fairly complicated. And the, the, the doing ROS is stepping off the deep end of the pool for a lot of reasons. But it does enterprise level and industrial level sorts of ideas of uh, communications and how more industrial robots are being made. In fact, ROS is used in a bunch of robots in both industrial and things you may know about, like those little Roomba things that run around and do stuff. Those those things are uh, those things are got ROS ROS one in them running around. Or so I'm told anyways. I've never pulled one apart to actually look at one of those things. But yeah, this is my this is the the basis of that robot. Um, I can actually make the wheels and stuff move now. I just can't do it with the uh, the brains here yet. And so I was going to play with that a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure I'm back where I thought I was. <laughs> Hold on. I was going to I was going to show off my new favorite keyboard here. I don't these guys don't pay me nothing. I just picked it up for 45 bucks at uh, Micro Center and it's nice steady keyboard I can't hardly twist it at all and uh, got a nice click to it I really like it a lot Red Dragon for 45 bucks it's a heck of a mechanical keyboard um where do I want to go oh I know where I want to go next I need to get my desktop up uh, yeah so let's see what I can do here. I need to go get rid of some things. That tends to do the wrong thing. I need my motion control. I need to jack my robot up so it decide it won't decide to run off. On me. Make sure you can see things. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you can see things. And then um plug in a few deals. So I've got this I got I got an Arduino plugged into something called a motor controller. And when I plug that in I can go back to looking at what I was looking at. Oh, and I need power. I'm applying 12 volts. And I'm playing with it. I'm playing with 
how to control the motor controller to make it do what I want. And how that works is here. Uh, I don't need that, but I need to do some IDE. So I'm trying to figure, make sure I understand this control so I can eventually put that Arduino onto uh, the Latte Panda, put all that code that I'm doing with the Arduino onto the Latte Panda to have it work. All right. See, I got a, a couple of folks showed up too. Shout out, man. Shout out, folks. Ask a question. I ask almost anything. And I will attempt to answer almost anything. So if you'll see what I'm doing, I've got some value set up. What happens is, is I'm, this looks, this robo, it's called a robo claw, looks and feels and acts just like an RC car would be on a receiver. And your, your Arduino here is mimicking the same kind of signals as if I had to, if I had an RC receiver and plugged them in on it. If you're interested, uh, shout out if you want to see what, what all the parts are of this thing is. I, I have them around. I pulled up. I got the heck the documentation for this this uh, motor controller here is 100 pages long all by itself. It's kind of crazy. So that's me wanting to go full reverse and then just do a couple stops. Well, don't care about that. Let's go full forward to make sure I can go full forward. I, I did all this stuff before and it got confusing as to what was going on. So let me send in a new batch of stuff. So hopefully what should happen is we got to send off a stop command first before it'll do anything. And then you can do other stuff with it. So after it gets through, yeah, cool. And it's running forward one second at a time. Coolness. Okay. And I just, I made up a bunch of tests before I ran all this thing so I could know what it was. And we want to stop it again. I want to do min forward. How slow. Now, this is a thing where I want to see how slow this thing can go before I go. And min min is just, uh, I don't know how much programming you've done. Uh, what this is, uh, here, I'll show you right fast. I don't have a good way to do that at the moment. Pull this out of the way. Grab. Is it still going? What happens is, what happens is, if you if you look at this, an X and Y. So this is a this is going to be time. And this is going to be effectively um, voltage. Or in our case, because of what we're doing here, what we're doing is this could be a logical zero, and at the top up here, a logical one. Uh, because we're running on this metro, and the way it is, this is actually zero volts and five volts up here. But that's not uh, as important as the difference between zero and one, All right? So, what's going to happen is there's something called a duty cycle, and that duty cycle is so many uh, uh, what is it nanoseconds, milliseconds? Yep, these are milliseconds. No nanoseconds actually. Take it back. Oh, microseconds. Take that back. In this case, microseconds. I forgot my units where I was. So I got the microseconds going on there. And so if you look, 
here I've got a max max and a min min and that kind of thing. I believe the duty cycle is actually like 2000 microseconds. So right around and what happens is there going to be there's going to be a pulse. It's going to go for so long and go down. 1 to 0. Currently, when I stop everything, that's going to be 1500 mi 1500 microseconds. Things that go less than that makes the motors go in reverse. Things that go forward of that makes the motors go in forward. I say forward. They could be left and right as well. Um, and uh, if you look at my max max there that I have there, it's almost is 1920 because uh, I've been playing with this already and I've been changing these numbers slightly. Um, that's as far as uh, I think I can push that to get a, uh, uh, a, a push. So imagine this is the center of your joystick. And as you push up, it goes this way. And as you pull back this period of time, and it's sending this signal in uh, repeatedly uh, to uh, the art to the remote, the Arduino sending it into the uh, the motor controller. So I say forward and reverse, but it's not necessarily forward and reverse. It could be left and right, because as we see, we're going forward and back right here. Um, so that's how all that works. But let me see. Let me see if I can show you why I said it could be forward and reverse. It doesn't have to be. So on the, one of the servo motors, that's only one. I've got two servo connections over here. One of them is a is your throttle, and the other one's your left and right. But I don't see any left and right going on there, right? So if I uh, I know I got the full speed now, which is cool. I think it's cool anyways. If I come down here and I've been playing with this stuff down here, if I do a right, if I want a full right turn, I was playing with this last time. So I want to make sure that I stop it because that's going forward. I want to make sure I stop it. And then I want to spin left. I've got some turn right. Let's see really what's happened. That's actually going to be a left, I think. I make mistakes too. Go figure, right? Hey, somebody join. Welcome. Party time on a Friday night. Hope you're having a... Uh... Yeah, welcome. Come on by. I'm going to stop. Wait, I need a tasty beverage. Yeah. I'm a big Diet Mountain Dew fan. All right. So we're going to load this thing again. We're going to load this thing again. And what's going to happen? It's still going to go forward and backwards as it was. But it's going to have one more action in it. And hopefully we will be turning left hard. Which means I'll be turning left. This wheel will go full backwards. That wheel will go full forwards. That's what I hope happens. And then I've got some things on the screen there telling me what I'm doing when I'm supposed to be doing it. Now I go full forwards, wait a little bit, and wait a minute. Well, that's no good. Yeah, that blows. All right, what am I doing wrong? Oh, that's max half. That ain't working for crap. Yeah, let's load it up again, we'll see what we got.
forward. Oh, look at that. I did do something. Oh, you see it switched over? This is kind of weird. Let's uh, get rid of that other junk. Get rid of this other stuff. It's causing me... Uh, don't know what I'm doing. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's hard for me to tell what's going on. I'm going to put that in there. Let's see if we can figure out what's going to go on with this. See, that's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, isn't it? And we're turning left. Full forward, full backwards. Why didn't they do that with all the other stuff? Maybe there's a timing thing going on. That's what I'm thinking. That's kind of weird. Maybe I didn't get a full stop like I thought, or maybe I'm sending it too fast. I can't believe this thing is sending it too fast for that. Because I, I do a full stop for a whole... Let me see what our, the motor controller set up in this. Okay. I'm going to unplug you. Plug you into here. And let's see what the settings are on the robot, on the motor controller. Oh, look at that. Okay, stop everything. You see those numbers? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Those numbers should be zero. See this M1 and M2 speed? It should be zero. I hit the old stop. Why is that even going? Oh, maybe. Maybe I've got some residual something. Nope. Must be in ground. We'll pull off of these. That's really weird. It's not what I expected at all. Let me see what happens if I reset this whole mess. Reconnect it back up. See, now it's exactly zero. Why did it think it needed to keep going like that? How do I ensure I've got to stop? I would do that in RC mode. I think I need to go to the manual. Yeah, taste the beverage. 
Tasty beverage. Manual is here. RC mode. I've got it. Ooh, maybe this exponential thing is messing with us. Let's see what happens when I do that. Take that off. Device. Write it out. Okay, stop it all. See what happens if I then plug the other one back in. We're all stopped. I turned off exponential mode. And let's energize. So that's fire up the last program we're doing. Let's see if we can run that other stuff in there again and have it do the right thing. We're just going to go full reverse. I'll get all these uh, things typed up correctly here before it's all said and done. Well, that ain't doing what I want to do at all. Oh, I know why it's not doing that. I'm an idiot. Why are you tell me I was an idiot? Ah. One servo one, one servo two. Turn left. It's left. Reverse. Oh, there you go. Maybe if I actually did what I said I was supposed to be doing. Ah. Let's do this. See, I have that stop thing going on there. Let's do this instead since I've made that mistake already. Da, 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 da. We're going to make a method. Avoid. You know, let's do this better than this. Where's where's this file at? Oh no, we're gonna be all right right now. I'm gonna take this stop because we're doing the same thing everywhere. Control X. Don't need, oh uh, yeah, we do need you. No, we don't need you. Do need you there. Let's 
Stop, stop, stop. And oh, I don't want to have this. And then we'll come back later and put in some. Uh, variable so we can do a variable stop there all right stop 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 this one is acting weird it's because I had both the servos I didn't I didn't slow down one and told the other one to go forward yeah it was doing what it's supposed to do I am an idiot but that's how I learn things. So let's make sure it compiles. Oh, it doesn't want to do that because I've got that. Nope, it should know how to do that. Uh, I deal in too many languages, JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, uh, some kind of other, I deal in way too many languages. Do I put a semicolon? Do I not put a semicolon? Do I pull it off? Do I put it on? Who knows? Let the That's why the compiler reminds me. Okay. Cool. Here's my own uh, my own stuff about software development. And don't repeat yourself in, the, in this realm. I was not being very smart when I did that. That's indeed left. That's a full reverse. Alrighty. Let's go. Uh, let's go back. And let's go uh, full forward. And then what I can do is in my stop routine, what happens if I just remove the stops that didn't do anything and see if this thing goes crazy? Oh, that'd be a cool test. That'd be a really cool test. I got a couple of stops in a row that I probably don't need. I don't want to do all of that. Oh, I forgot to put that in there. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Pull forward. There you go. All right, pull backwards, pull forwards, left turn, back, 
forward, back, left turn. Oh, that's a back, that's a forward, that's another back. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, there it is. Let's change this. Back. Okay. So foot backwards. So forwards. So the backwards. Now we don't need to do that test again. Let's do this. Half about this way. Okay, I got a back and a forward. I got a back again. That's a back, that's a forward. So, why don't we do this? See that min, min half? It's about halfway, half volume. Okay, so let's do this half, half reverse. Keep track of my own variables, right? Hey, saw some people join. Awesome. Shout out. How you doing this Friday night? I'm running my robot through the motor prefer motor paces. Make sure I understand how these things work and go and do. And uh, I'll eventually put a real something real smart. In there, oh yeah, that kind of works. Wonder how slow it can go. Any idea? That's a forward. That's a half back. That's a left. Okay. That right there, value of uh, microseconds, gives us a half back. This is our full stop. What's 1320? Was that uh, 180? Yeah. So let's make another one here. Min half of the half. So that's going to be 90 plus 1320 is 1410. Cool. And I can't spell. You guys aren't catching me on my spelling. I say you guys. Could be elves for all I know. <laughs> Our eight space aliens coming to take us on. Okay, we need to... Uh, you stop all the motors because I'm not ready to try that test yet. And then we need to copy some of these because I don't like to type a whole bunch and people don't like to type, see me typing. Right? Um, I'm going to call this uh, slow reverse. It actually can be real variable, but I, I'm, I'm just making it so I got some breakpoints in it. So min half. And I'm gonna call it slow reverse. All right. So what we should we do here? We should go fast back, 
fast forward, half back, then slow back. If things are all as they should be. Uh, let me make sure you can actually see all the wheels and tires moving. Ooh, that's real slow back. Ooh, that's good. I think that's good. At least it did what I, I told it. I, I told it to do what I wanted. I expect, and it did what I expected to do. Cool. All right. Let's do the same thing up here. Let's go half. Let's go that uh, man half half. Let's call it max half half. Again, I'm just establishing some baseline stuff. So when I do plug all this together, I know what I'm expecting. So that's uh, 125 divided by 2 is what? Uh, 62 and a half? I can't do halves. So what I can do is I can do 1562. Uh, 63. I'll give the half to the winner. Right? And so let's go uh, slow forward now. We'll need to uh, stop so we know some stuff. And we're going to go slow forward. And then we're going to say slow forward. If all that works right. Max half half. Got it. Okay. back oh it didn't work what did I do I forget something yeah I forgot something again slow forward oh I know what I forgot comments are wonderful things okay Got it back Forward. We got a half reverse. We got a slower reverse. We got a slow forward. Oh, cool. Then we got a left turn. All right. I think that's giving me some decent results. Uh, AC beverage. Let's see, um, I know I need to stop again. Oh, and these are all spinny things. Let's play just spinning without any velocity. Is how this works. Uh, so uh, I, I see somebody joined. How this works is that the your, your Arduino is since it's mimicking like joysticks inputs into the motor controller because that's how I've got it set up. Uh, like the first couple of things that are going on is if I just leave one stick along, push push uh, the uh, speed forward or backwards, and the very last one is me turning it left. Port resets. The uh, this bit up here is the output, so we can see what it's supposed to have done. So okay, we want to spin right. 
since we're that cool. And what that spin right needs to happen needs to be. I need to be more creative with my names. I know. This is spin. So the idea now when I'm running this is it should go back. Forward, it should reverse, then forward, then slow, slow reverse, half reverse, slow reverse, then a slow forward. And we want to spin right and spin left. And a spin right is this one going full forward and that one going full reverse. And then uh, the opposite is true when I spin to left. All righty. And those last two are the equivalent of me not touching a throttle at all and just doing left and right here. Half reverse, slow reverse, slow forward, take a right turn, take a right spin, take a left spin. Cool. Okay. So, I'm stopping between all of that. I need to stop at least once. Now, why don't I do this instead? I know what I want to do instead. That right there. Needs have happened and set up. So we start in a stop state, start, do so we're in a known state. And then I am going to go and we're going to do this. Actually, no, we're going to tell it not to stop. Even though we're going to print stop. No. We're just going to make this a non-issue. Right? Uh, okay. I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm so done with you. Where are we doing here? Is that where we're at? Cool. That's where we're at. Uh, I'm tired of messing with this noise here. I'm going to go into preferences. I'm going to say compiler warnings, use external editor. Okay, save them all. What other sketches do I have? Oh, I got another sketch open. No, I do not. I just have this one. Save it. Preferences, external editor. Okay. Big fan of Microsoft code, by the way. Visual Studio code. Hey, I see we got somebody else joined. Shout out. How you doing this Friday night? Love talking to people. So, yeah, this will, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so all I care about, let's just, let's make that a non-issue. Save it up. Tell this thing to compile it and go. Let's see what happens. But we're stopping between each one of these tests. And so we get a nice clean to make sure it was doing what it's supposed to doing. And now I'm going to take out the stop so it's not stopping. So this thing should just go forward and backwards and not be a problem. Cool. Oh, not cool.
I know what it's, I think I know what's going on. It is cool, but it's not cool. She is acting weird there. At least I think it's acting weird there. I know what's going on. Which is amazing to me that I know what's going on. You look here, I got two servos. I stopped them both here. I'm not stopping either. I'm not stopping either one of them now between all the times. So, if I got in and did one of these, and go, okay. And that's a delay. Oh, yeah, because I want to run for a second. And if I say I'm done, here specifically. Come on, why are you hanging up on me? Help to go. Then that should act exactly like it's supposed to. Uh oh. I forget something? Yep, I forgot something. Nah, I can't spell. Then, after this, I want to do some a couple more tests where I push the I go forward a half a rate and then turn left at the same time. Yeah. See what it's supposed to do. Gotta like that. Uh, so 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 nice. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to put this back. Okay. Don't need this at the moment. I'll leave that there for a second. Actually, I'm not. I am going to put the stop back in. And then we're going to play one of these things. to go right and I tell it to go full forward Let's go forward. I can't. I'll get all my words right before too long. Okay, so the idea is I'm going to be going as far as I can this way, and I'm going to 
go as hard as I can that way. Right? I say that way. We're going forward, and we're pushing forward up on the joystick and to the right as hard as it goes. I suspect that the right wheel will turn slowly, if at all, and the left wheel over here will be going full forward. So basically, this is now stopped, and I'm doing one of these things, like a tank. And then we're going to tell it to... Uh, and play for a second and then um, until the stop again just because well I'm just being nice pull forward Okay. Hey, Sean, how you doing, buddy? You gonna watch my bad typing? Where'd I mess up? Ah, stupid. So, um, I'm doing pretty good today if I could just keep uh, remembering to put semicolons in the right place and those sorts of things. Um, I saw one of your uh, buds today. Uh, he was uh, doing something with Sean's next coding site or something. Yeah, I saw them doing something with uh, some uh, cognitive search on uh, one of your sites. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm like, man, I recognize that code. Wait a minute. I recognize that code with Sean Fellow. I recognize those things. I'm just uh, running through paces right now uh, to make sure I understand how these motors are supposed to act. And then uh, after I do that, I will see if I can't, uh, see if I can mount my uh, Latte Panda and configured a little bit on my robot and then we'll see what other things I can do before uh, I blow things up. Yeah, I didn't, I, I just didn't, I was just kind of lurking around a little bit, seeing what was going on and uh, saying hello and um, I was taking kind of a break um, from my daily routine of, you know, doing coding and things, that kind of stuff. Hanging out with your buddy uh, Michael Perry most days these days. Uh, where am I at? Yeah. Yeah, I recognize most of those guys. Fritz even and those folks. And not that he was there, but I recognize most of those guys. And, I, and to be honest, and I say be honest, be transparent. It's not that I'm trying to lie to anybody. To be transparent, I was, uh, I, I was really concentrating hard on delivering good content. And so I got faces going on, uh, but uh, hoping everything would work uh, was foremost on my mind and that kind of stuff. Okay, spin right. Been left. Hey, that did exactly what I was supposed to do. I believe we would do this. We goes when we do a uh, full forward and a hard right turn. This one goes forward, and that one barely turns at all. Cool. I suppose I should try to do the rest. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. Yeah, that was that was. That's, I've always I always have fun when I come see you guys in Tulsa. There's no doubt about that. Um, and what else? Um, just so that because I know you on the thing, 
Um, I did submit two talks. I submitted that Blazer talk, by the way. Uh, same basic one, and I'll I have to go refresh it. I've been keeping a watch on the uh, on the uh, GitHub for that repository for the workshop, and it's been kept up to date. People, I, I saw I saw a PR on that just the other day. Yeah, wife loves coming up too. By the way, in case you didn't get that, yeah, always great, always great. And um, I submitted that, and um, the uh, the uh, thing using cognitive search and uh, forms recognizer, and basically, I got permission from. Uh, I, I did a shout out to Seth Juarez. I said, "Hey, can I use that deck? Can I give that presentation?" And the all in caps came back absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, today's the last day to submit. So they say you want it in by the 15th. So if you're going to submit, you know, I think you probably got till midnight tonight. So, yeah, Seth is, is way cool, man. I, I, I didn't know how to, t you know. For the longest time, I've been seeing him all all the channels and all the all the. I don't know how he does what he does. He every time you turn around, he's talking about some other subject or new thing or different thing on a channel nine thing or talking. To, he's he's amazing, right? And I'm like, man, how's that guy actually going to be? And I ran smack dab into him at that conference. I'm like, he's the one checking me in. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, you're Seth Juarez. What are you doing checking me in? <laughs> Thought that was cool. Okay, so if I go in here and I take all the stops out, if I take all the stops out, it's not going to work the way I want it to. I think. Yeah, and I can, I, so I can tell this story, very much the same story I had um, about, you know, hey, your boss, boss comes in and says, you know, I was messing around with the SQL and somehow I lost all the data for and invoices. You can just scrape them off the PDF, right? <laughs> I think it's funny. He does a way better job than I do, but uh, hopefully I'll do some justice if that story, if that uh, talk gets picked up. But that right there is cool. That does what I want it to do. And it makes all the sense in the world. <sighs> makes all the sense in the world. Oh, and thanks for hanging out, lurking or otherwise, by the way. It'll swim my stats a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll qualify enough to get to something other than the dregs of, uh, dregs of Twitch. Yeah, what time are you streaming tomorrow? Ten AM CST. I'll see what I can do about being at what, for an hour? Two hours, something like that? A couple hours? There's a whole workshop thing? Wow, look at you, multi-channel tasking. I think I am locking that. Look how that connection works, like how that does. I gotta find me a new camera or a new USB. Okay, I do know I'm supposed to go uh, grocery shopping with the wife tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ADD to the rescue, baby. I'm supposed to go garage shopping tomorrow morning uh, with the wife, so let me uh, see how that's going to work out. 
uh, we actually need to go pretty early because I know school is just now starting up and I don't know what school startup actually means for a lot of people, but I got a feeling that whole is still going to be crazy at uh, the various stores and outlets that have school type stuff. Hey man, you're supporting me. I want to support you as well. You know how that goes. This whole scratching of backs and such. I will tell you though, I'm digging this working though, the way it's doing it. And I think I want to try to do some stuff on my latte panda to get it mounted as expected because those numbers are going right. If I can get the latte panda mounted and then do figure out how to get that Arduino on the latte panda doing what this Arduino is doing here, I think that'd be awesome. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think that's my next course of action. I want to get it mounted. I want to get it where I can plug into one power thing and have it all lit up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got a little, uh, got some business to handle. I'll be right back.
Hey, 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 hey. I have returned it. All right. Wow. <laughs> That's the case. I'm going to need to do a few things. that part of it working. I like how that is set up. We got some slow stuff, we got some fast stuff. That's cool. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to unplug this, unplug that, unplug this, move this a little out of the way because I've got no power on it, and we're going to now play with the Latte Panda. I need to do a couple things. One, I to make sure I got the keyboard, and I do. For the panda, we're going to need some juice for the panda, and I'm going to need the elegato working for the panda. So let me go get me another thing here. Elegato. It's actually not Elegato, it's a GoFranco. And currently we don't have that work. It is on. I say it's on. Let me go make sure I get some power on that. Put you back on. Here. All right. So that's the Latte Panda. That's our power. Mm -hmm. Got power going on here. We have HDMI. Screwdriver, but do divers. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Let me take these two because I don't need them at the moment. Get them out of the way. Don't need my buck converter. And let's see what else. I'm going to need that power.
I don't know. That is not the power I need. This is the power I need. It's a USB-C. That goes to my Raspberry Pi 4. This is the power I need. Yep, already got it over here. Did not realize it. We have us. Pull up my latte panda schematics. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. No, nope, don't care about that. There's a latte panda. Get the power. I'm good and plugged in. I am not. Okay, got it. We have Latte Panda coming up. Let's see. If we can get Elegato on the line. I'm sorry, they go Franco. I wanted an Elegato, but I couldn't get one because everybody else had already bought them all. Okay, that is now up. And I do I have a mouse? Hmm. One of these people would have been supposed to work. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, okay, let's make the Elegato work, or the screen capture work. Let me go pull it up. 
Go Franco. Deactivate. Activate. Cool. Yeah, save them. Alrighty. That is the Latte Panda. This is what you see as a desktop now. Hey, somebody join back. I'm betting that's Sean. Welcome back. Now I need to get this responsive to a keyboard of some sort. Oh, you didn't leave? Uh, my uh, viewer count went up and down weirdly. That's why I was saying, uh, welcome back. Hmm. I wonder what that is. But regardless, I'm going to play on uh, Latte Panda here. But I need to make sure that indeed, I wonder if this was laying on it and it killed the battery. See, so we got some more batteries. Oh, it's really accurate. Ah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm depending on stuff. I know. I know that it takes a uh, a few minutes because uh, I've got a monitor going on here to make sure I'm going out okay. You know, and it does register as a viewer. And um, I know it takes usually a few minutes for that to actually show up. Okay, those batteries may not be bad. Be right back, but my battery stash over here. Make sure these batteries are still good. No, they're not. Nope. Those batteries are dead. I thought they might be. They've been sitting in their drawer for 20 years. You think they might die after that? Check these batteries. Then, then I think I know why. And something matched on one of the keys and just drained it down to nothing. Yep. More dead batteries. I wonder if I have some. What I do in all my travels, you can still hear me. Doing all my travels. I usually put spare batteries and all that sort of thing in my box.
Wife is hoarding all the batteries. Go figure. Yeah, those batteries dead store now. Cool. We now have dun da 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 Mousy Mouse. So what are we gonna do with this? I know what we're gonna do with this. We gotta do a couple of things. One on the latte panda side, I need to set it to boot on power up. What's my documentation say? CN2 header put is a good power source for embedded applications. I find off cool computational load is 1.6 amps. Okay, I'll have all that. And booting the system, the peak current required is about two amps. Okay, I've got a five volt buck router, buck voltage buck converter. It'll handle up to 5 amps, it says. I'm going to pull that right off the battery and shove that in that CN2 connector. But we're not doing that at the moment. I need to control it because I won't be able to get to the power button. I'm going to mount this thing. I oh, have all the current I need, though. Hmm, I think I need to say reboot this thing. I am going to uh, shut it down. And on the reboot, I believe it's the delete key, the F1 key, something like that to get to the BIOS. I don't need that. I don't need that. Hold on, man. Don't want to take Panda. Panda. Access. Bios. Auto power on. Bios, new tabs. Yeah, yeah, Well, that's not good. Okay. Page not found. Well, that's no good. What is this from? Oh, that's from three years ago. I think your GitHub replies are gone south. Well, let's see if we can get close, though. Oh, look at that. I got close. Alrighty. G 
delete just once during the BIOS. Okay. During boot up. Hey, I know how to boot the thing. Booting it up now. I say I boot it up. Ooh, there's BIOS. You guys see that on my screen? Oh, cool. All right. Let's keep one of the don't need moments. Uh, yeah. See if I can find what I'm looking for here. Just some date and time. Detail. Local memory. Yep. Yep. Oh. BIOS version is what? Hmm. I'm, I haven't really looked. Wow. Woohoo! It means there's a slot two there? I bet I can't access that. Hey, welcome. I see somebody else uh, showed up. Shout out. I say hello. It's party time Friday night. Um, yeah, I bet I can't even get even close to that. Yeah. And escape, escape. Auto on. The USB two is disabled. Power gating. DHCI. I think I need to do that in this case. Oh, look at all those ports. That's crazy. SATA for G3, clock spread spectrum, SATA. Right. Boot. Machine status, AC battery in. Automatic power on. Make sure the machine, the power, machine power status when the AC or battery is plugged in. That says we're supposed to be powered on. That's what it looks like to me. Go look to see what the documentation says on this great thing here. Okay. I'm gonna figure out the version of your panda. That's cool. Sticker is.
Well, they somebody marked some stuff through it. No, I didn't do that. C8 350. And I've got a SCR, CR, 200. Okay, got a 1.2. Cool. The things you learn. So that should get me a power on boot up, right? All right. Sure can't change anything else that's going on there. Quiet boot enabled. What if I don't want to quiet boot it? If I want to see all the noise. No, let's leave it enabled. It looks kind of cool with the Latte Panda doing its thing as it boots up. Don't run the fast boot. And then we're going to put this in a test. Latte Panda, and we're going to shut it down, and I'm going to unplug it. Because when I get this mounted on here, I don't want to have to go pull it apart. Oh, while I'm doing that, I need to uh, uh, Do a little bit of hardware adjustment. It's the top of that case. Need to clean up a little bit. It's a little tight. Oh, it got a Windows update between all that. Lovely. How to get my lovely face in there? Oh, I know how I did that. Oh, this is what I need to do here. So just a little tight. Plastic doesn't always go where you want to. the noise, clean up the mess. And that booted up just fine. I need to shut it down. And okay, shut down. To stay off for a second, so I get an accurate test as I clean up the case here.
plug it back in as I just turn the power on. And hopefully that's enough to get the edges off of that. Now I need to make sure I got the holes right. Clear out the holes. Oh, and it's coming right up. Perfecto. Don't watch me blow everything up because I got to turn it off in the middle of something. Hopefully, I don't lose the operating system. I mean, I guess I could do that if it was if I was running enterprise stuff. I could do a couple settings to make the file system journaling, so I'd never have to worry about it if I just lost power. It just reset itself. But I'm just running standard Windows 10 Pro on it. But that's pretty darn cool right there. Yes. Comes right up. Perfect. All right, since I got this up, I'm going to do a couple of things. One of the things I'm going to do is commence cleaning up some junk. Let me find me a seat here that's worth a seat. Hold on. Some seats are too low, some are too high, some are too fat. This seems to be just about right. I haven't played too much on the Latte Panda. I tried to set up Ross on it and it seemed to work kind of okay. It had problems too. I see what I can do about all that. That's the resolution, really? Oh, I can fire that up bigger than that. Yeah, keep change. I'll have to go set that back when I actually go do the real thing. Because I've got a, a 7 inch screen that, that's just going to be perfect for that, but I want the real estate now. Or, uh, mucking about, so to speak. All right. Whew. Yeah, that's good. Especially when I'm working on a desktop, a pinch top. And do a few things. One of those is investigate what I've got for disk space left on here because I abuse the heck out of this thing. Literally abuse the heck out of this. You don't see the drive on there? What the fuck? Ooh, nope, you don't, because I popped it out. Perfecto. Now, 
Eh, folders here. Courses here. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something with it. Let's go here. I'm going to get rid of a few things. One of the things I'm going to dump flat on the ground is all of the raw stuff. Yep. Now I'm going to have to go back through that and do that again. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say delete. I want to see how many items I'm going to delete. Oh, it's going to take a while to lead. Oh, Jesus. I forgot how slow this hard drive access is. Because it's not a real, I mean, it's a real hard drive, but it's more just, it's more like very slow SD RAM. The. Doing things as a hard drive here is really slow. I say really slow. There's a bunch of little files. This is all uh, Ross operating system. I've got three different versions of it on here all full up. And then we'll get rid of all of them. And then we're going to do something with the Arduino, I think. So I've got that blinking right now. And I want to mount this and have it just come up and start doing things with the motors. Yeah, that's going to take a little while. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I think I've got 20 gigs to remove here. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's one gig. So, I'm thinking it's Friday night. It's almost 10 o'clock. I think I'm going to call it for tonight. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to let this thing run. It's going to be very interesting at all. Um, so, I'm going to call it for now. Let me uh, do a little switch around here. So, programs. Yeah, I'm going to call it for tonight. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Remember to follow me along so you'll get notified when I come online again. Um, as I always say, whether it's from my failures or your successes, I hope you learned something today. Hope to see you again real soon. And uh, everybody be safe.